And now, your first alert five weather. And pretty much the entire eastern half of Colorado included in this tornado watch. But I would say the greatest threat is not going to be for areas along the interstate. It's going to be out across the eastern plains counties. These areas have the greatest instability, the greatest amounts of a wind shear happening with changes in direction and speed going from the surface into the upper levels, and that can create those weak land spout tornadoes. So here's a breakdown of the severe weather threat. We're still under weather alert through this evening, and the plains we're watching conditions here to be favorable through about 11 o'clock tonight for the mountains and the I-25 corridor. I think it starts to fade out right around sunset, maybe a few hours before that. Damaging hail still possible. Haven't seen hailstones bigger than an inch to an inch and a quarter, but could see some storms produce hail up to two inches in diameter. Also damaging wind gusts and some very heavy rainfall with these storms. And still, even through the overnight hours, some of the modeling is showing some very isolated to scattered thunderstorms. I'll show you that here in just a second. First, let's start out with a radar tour. Lots of lightning here across the eastern plains tonight, and you can see most of the heavier stuff pretty far east of I-25 out towards the Pikes Peak region. But look at southeastern parts of El Paso County. I already saw a severe thunderstorm warning here earlier today and still seeing some very heavy rainfall right along and south of Highway 94. If you're near Trucking, Yoder or Rush, yeah, heads up. You got some very dangerous cloud to ground lightning, maybe some small piece size hail. And also some very heavy rain, as I mentioned, out of those storms. Still dealing with a flash flood warning in Pueblo. Even though we've dried out, be advised that some of the low-lying areas could be flooded out from as much as a half an inch to an inch of rain over just the past hour or two. You can see the radar loop over the past hour showed several rounds of rainfall moving through and still some light rain just to the south of Stem Beach out there on I-25. Take it live into the Colorado Springs area. Our cam is getting a workout. Strong southerly winds today. That's going to stick around tomorrow, even as the atmosphere dries out. Now in Pueblo, windy with thunderstorms in the area. 61 degrees outside with humidity at 70%. We'll take you outside towards Trinidad. Rain showers around Los Animas County, 56. Winds out of the west southwest at 30 miles per hour. And La Junta's been dry and sunny most of the day, but we will see an increase in the severe weather threat and uptick in the thunderstorms probably in the next couple of hours. So the main line of storms picking up well on the modeling, and this really has pushed most of it pretty far east. So I think we might be out of the woods at least according to this model in the springs through the rest of the evening, but still can't rule out some isolated thunderstorms. You see it around 2 a.m. up towards Teller County out to the west and maybe out towards Pueblo in the springs. And even through early tomorrow morning, could see some fast moving storms in that brisk south to north flow. Now on Sunday, most of the storms that develop, I think will stay pretty far to the east. The big story is going to be some gusty winds that move in behind that departing storm system. So windy and a bit warmer on Sunday, highs will be into the 70s in the springs and 80s as we look at Pueblo's forecast. This is the upper level low that's been the catalyst for today's severe weather. It's been spinning across the Great Basin for the past couple of days as it moves off to the north and east. Again, we see some drier weather, but some gusty winds in that Sunday forecast and the severe weather threat tomorrow generally across the northeast plains. The yellow shading indicates a slight risk of severe weather and that green shading is that marginal risk, which as you can see there on the graphic is along pretty much east of I-25. So as we look at the next seven days in the springs, a couple of days in the mid 70s, gust to 50 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon, drying out for the rest of the seven day period. I think if we do get any rain, that would wait until next weekend, which is the weak chance on Saturday for Pueblo. It looks dry and that's OK because we've seen a lot of rain so far this month, so we deserve a few drier days. Also a warming trend as highs climb up to 90 or near 90 by Wednesday. Canyon City will be in the upper 70s with really strong winds on Sunday, likely not getting wet here over the next seven days, but Saturday would be the next day that we'd be watching for the potential for rain and at Woodland Park. Generally dry skies here with some warmer highs by the middle of the week and then a white a weak chance. I should say of storms heading into Saturday. Andy.